Like many other Singaporeans of my generation, I actually started uh, in a kampong and we moved on to a rental flat in Topayo, a run-room flat, until I graduated from NUS. I have to work during my university day, uh, during the vacation, so ensure that I have enough money to move on. And with that, uh, I was quite fortunate to have the opportunity uh, to know about the grassroots work. Before I became MP, I have been serving the grassroots and I was the branch secretary for uh, Mr. K. Shamugan. Actually, uh, from my experience working with him, I really learned a lot. He always reminds us to say that you must actually put in your best. Today, when you are in this position, actually, you are able to do more. But don't fail the mandates that people give it to you. So you must continue to do your best. We need to actually expand our network. That's why I also uh, make a point for, for me to serve in more uh, community groups as well as to do more outreach. Although uh, that's quite stretched for me because it ends up that I have to spend uh, more time. But I think all these are worthwhile. I have only one job. Uh, and the other involvement are actually serving as an advisor, serving as a committee chairman. That is more for me to actually expose myself to different uh, walk of life, to different uh, actually business experiences, so that I'll be able to do my job better. I always try to use the network that I have to make a practical and yet progressive move forward. So, for instance, I set up a number of free clinics, TCM free clinic, thinking that well, that will help all our elderly. But then one day when I do my house visit, this lady actually shared with me and said, well, I'm very happy that you have such things. But unfortunately, I now have problem with my leg. That made me think and say, well, what more can we do? And uh, with the network that we have, then I managed to actually find another VWO that's willing to actually come up with the service of so-called home TCM, that we are able to actually bring the physician to every individual's home. After I had put that in place, for example, when I visited uh, my residence and I found some of the familiar faces, all of a sudden I say, hey, how come I have not been seeing you for the almost last one year, I think, in my activities? They say, oh, Mr. Yo, you didn't know I've gone through the knee operation. Actually, now my leg can't walk very fast, so I seldom go down to your activities anymore. Then that also made me think to say, that, is there something that I can actually help? So, tapping on my network again, so I realized there's something called Mobility Scooter. Then I realized actually I can actually work with this company to do a higher purchase arrangement to bring the cost at the current moment lower. That, uh, and then work with CDC to extend this help to all. Uh, by arranging this Mobility Scooter, I was so happy that now then all these residents can now come and join the event again and more importantly to enable them to socialize. In Singapore, um, there are many, many still need help. And when we say that we want to help them, we must be not just be sincere, but must find a practical way and a progressive way to really make a difference uh, to their life.